Greetings friends, welcome to my bedroom. There's my lovely little Fallout 76 guy in his Jimmy Jams having a nice little snooze in my house which I'm about to give you a tour of uh, as I play two hours of Fallout 76 for you lot. Now before I start this game off I just want to preface this let's play uh, with the fact that if you've been watching this channel for a long time uh, I've been looking forward to Fallout 76 for a very long time. I I was never in the camp of, oh, uh, I don't want Fallout 76 to have multiplayer or that kind of stuff. I, I was always optimistic and hopeful for it, and I was always very excited to play it. I jumped on the beta, was really excited to play the beta, but the beta was covered in bugs, uh, graphical glitches, frame rate issues, crashes, weird monsters that were just like stretched forever or invisible, uh, crashes to dash, loads of just a, 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 a fountain, a fountain of glitches and errors and just like terrible, terribleness. Um, and I thought to myself, do you know what, it's a beta. They wrote this lovely letter to the community saying, you know, expect terrible bugs, it's a beta, break it early, test everything or whatever the hell they called it. Uh, and I'm sad to, sad to say that after playing um, three or four hours of the full game today and a bit last night, that nothing has been fixed from the beta. It is exactly the same as it was from the beta. Um, except now it's a £60 game with microtransactions and uh, I kind of find it a bit shocking the state that this game is in for something that is asking so much money from people uh, and, uh, and has been asking fans to take such a big jump. Um, you know, I was willing to kind of embrace the change and, and try it, but... Uh, it's such a weird game that sets out to do something but just doesn't seem to achieve it in any reasonable way whilst also being housed in such a terrible shell. I mean, I'm not going to go on too much about the glitches and stuff. I'll point them out as we go, um, I'm sure. But just that's, that's me just getting a bit of a rant out of the way because I really thought it would be fixed, at least slightly. There's a mission up here. This mission. Repair Prickett's Fort Token Dispenser. That, I could not complete that in the beta because the, the ticket token dispenser is broken. It hasn't spawned properly, so you can't click on it. That's going to be fixed for release, I, I thought. You know, you want a game that actually works. It hasn't been <laughs> fixed on release. It's still broken. And I saw someone complaining about it on Twitter. And Bethesda were like, yeah, we know. We're going to fix it in a future update. I'm like, dudes and dudettes, Bethesda, how big is your glitch list that you can't even, you know, that a quest line isn't at the top of your fix list? I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But anyway... Let's uh, let's crack on with Fallout 76. I'm going to give you a tour of my building. Um, this is one of the things I've been having uh, the most amount of fun with, to be honest, in Fallout 76, is, is building my house. I'm just going to give my guy a little bit of water. This is a survival game more than, uh, more than Fallout games normally are, so it means you have to... Um, oh, I just, I just read, a, read a thing. Um, I think that might have given me some XP. Uh, it's a survival game, so you have to eat and drink um, regularly. Maybe not spoiled meat and spoiled vegetables, though. What can I eat? I can eat some beer and a baked bloat fly. Uh, but, but you have to do that quite regularly, otherwise it affects your action points. So anyway, this is the first bedroom here. Uh, I've made a two-story house. So the first bedroom here, covered in some lovely artwork. We've got quite a high... Uh, quite a high ceiling with some lights hanging around and stuff. But, yeah, I don't know if this is the master bedroom or what. I've got two bedrooms in here. So let's close this door. Built myself a couple of uh, welcoming statues. A little statue to welcome you as you come up the stairs here. You say, welcome, welcome home, adventurer. Uh, and then there's a, a female font lady who's saying, welcome home, adventurer. 
And we've got the uh, the secondary bedroom here, which uh, has the same amount of space, but it curves around to the side here. Again, we've got lovely artworks uh, on the walls, a little clock as well. More artwork here for Fighting Furies. Last stand at Fort McGee. Before I go downstairs, by the way, uh, let me just go to participants and say hello to everyone who's joining me whilst also loading up loot because I forgot all of that stuff in my rush to start. We've got AJ, Andrew82, Angel B, and more, at Fruit Bat, Attila, uh, Casey Holland, Catherine Leake, Dan Finn, Dogma90801, Owen Maguire, Eric Little, Fahid Habib, uh, Gavin UK86, Hebrew Hammer, Hero Fan, Chuck Carl Richardson, Kate Lilly, Lord Voldemort, Matthew Folds, Mike Tiger24, TB, Morpidi Mop Mop, Nike, that's a fun one to say, Morpidi Mop Mop. Mr. Tom for the win, Night Cat, Reckless Rex, Rainer Watt, Castaway DZ, Tom Smith, Crosshair, aka Paul, and your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. Lovely name. So I'm just loading on loots now, just in case anyone wants to uh, send me a message on the loots. Condensed view, because I always forget. And someone has done, what's it going to say? How about a bit of wait and release the game when it's actually done, Bethesda? Says Reckless Rex. I, I, it's, it's shocking. Uh, anyway, down the stairs we go. We've got more artwork on the stairs. Um, this is the front door here. Actually, let's go out the front door quickly. Have a look at the the out outer of the house. So um, perhaps I could have done with a few more windows upstairs, but I've got. Um, I've built this quite in the middle of kind of like a bit of radiated landscape. It was basically some flat ground. Best to build buildings on flat ground. Uh, I've got a little statue out the front there. And then as we enter, we've got some Vault Boy cutouts. That I just placed them under the stairs because I built them and I didn't know where to put them. But they're, just, they're, they're basically doing finger docking uh, under the stairs. Uh, another another little poster there, and then this is the main room. This is where all the um, the crafting takes place. I uh, probably should. I, I might need to. Are my lights even on? I'm not sure my lights are on. I might need to sort my lighting out. It doesn't. None of my lights seem to be on. I'm not sure whether I've uh, got too much power going, and my generator is not big enough to do it all. But my lights used to work. These posters used to light up as well, but I did stick a, a bunch of things down, like this chem table here, uh, I've got my gun table here, I've got my ammo, Tinker's workshop there, I've got my armour workshop there, a little radio and a lamp. Um, let's see about getting some extra power through quickly. So what I need to do is I need to enter the build menu. Uh, oh, no, that's that's my store. Mate. Actually, do I need... To, have I got any junk I need to store? No, I have no junk I need to store. You can only store in your stash box uh, up to 400 points worth of uh, items. So... And you can't build extra stash boxes, so you can't go around the world just continually looting, continually looting. At some point, even though it's going to hurt, I'm going to have to chuck away some of my loot because I can't hold it all. But anyway, build. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is go to modify, and I'm going to have to store the poster. And I'm going to have to store the wall here for now. Uh, and then I'm going to attach that wire. Ah, actually no, I need to need to go, cancel. I need to go back to where is it? Power connectors. And I need to stick a power connector here. And hopefully, unless this generator just isn't good enough. There we go. So I've got my power uh, back out, reaching my room. Now, hopefully, I should now be able to go back to my walls. And fingers crossed it'll let me... It might not let me put a wall here now. Because I've got a wire going through. 
Hmm. Yeah, it looks like I can't have a wire going through the wall. I could... Hold on, what was that? Like? I could put a low wall there, maybe. Yeah, let's put a low wall there. And then, uh, you know, we've got access to the power now. Anyway, has that meant, does that mean that my lights have gone on upstairs? I think it does. Let's have a little look. Sounds like someone's here. I don't, I don't know if I can, if they can hear me. Hello. Welcome to my house. Who, who are you? You didn't even knock before you entered. Absolute rude. So rude. Bye. Do you like my house? Oh, he's off. He's gone. He's, he's gone. So, uh, yeah, he was having a look at my house there. He just wandered across my house in the middle of the wasteland. Other players, I believe, can smash down people's houses. Uh, the buildings can get can get damaged. I think if you smash down someone else's stuff, you can become wanted and things. Um, I've not tried smashing anyone's stuff, but uh, my mate from work, Wes, shot my statue and he became wanted. Uh, yay, first time using loot. Love the streams, Ian, says Ashley Morris. Oh, I like, thank you, Ashley Morris. So if I just take a look in my... So I've got... Uh-oh. I need to go and drop some stuff because what I want to do now is I want to go and run some missions to get some more loot and just, you know, see what the game's like. I have been, a lot of the time I've just been skipping the missions because they're kind of a bit boring. They're a bit fetch questy um, and it's just like, um, it takes a long time to like sit there and read through all the notes and the computer screens, which is what I like to do when I'm not streaming. But when I am streaming, uh, I just kind of flick through them. So it shouldn't be as uh, as dull if I just skip through all the uh, the nonsense. I'm going to drop. So I'm going to drop some heavier stuff. This gun here, the dragon, is greyed out because it's level 35. So I can't use it till I'm level 35. But it looks like a beast. Can't wait to be level 35 to use that. Uh, but I'm gonna watch. Should I drop in? I oh my jewel shocks run out of batteries. I thought that was plugged in. Hey, Asfugal. Just bounty. Uh, F bounty. Just kill everyone. Says Jesus Christ. Well, that's not a very Christian uh, thought process, is it? Jesus Christ. Uh, perfect storm's good. It sets people on fire. I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna store that. I'm gonna store. I'm going to store... what's better? That one. This one's compensated true pipe rifle is better than that. Although that looks quite cool. But different ammo. It's different ammo type, so I'll keep them both. Uh, I'll keep that. Put the Molotov away. Put the short hunting rifle away. Uh, oh. I bet there's other stuff. So I picked up a bunch of things uh, during last match. I've got a gas mask. I want to keep that. I could wear a greaser jacket and jeans, but I don't want to, mainly because uh, I bought my pyjamas with atoms, and I had to work very hard to get those atoms. Right, so store the greaser jacket and jeans. Lightweight buttress left leg. Lightweight metal left leg. This is armour I can wear. And I put the miner hat in there. Uh, regenerating left leg. That sounds better than that. Oh, I don't know, though. That gives eight protection. That only gives three protection. But it says it does slowly regenerate health when not in combat. Are these both left legs? Oh, that, oh, that one's... That one's pretty good. I'm going to store that one. I'll store that one. Fuck it. Uh, aid. What's Nuka Cola Quantum do? I'm going to store the pepper. Store the salt. Store the spices. Store the sugar. All these things have weight to them. Store the spoiled meat. Just get rid of all that. Um, and the psycho tats. And the dirty water. Loads of miscellaneous here. Um, 
All this ore. I thought maybe I could turn this ore into junk, but it doesn't seem to be a thing I can do. Gold ore. Gunpowder, that's good for crafting. Got some access cards, iron ore, lead ore. Maybe I, I don't know if there's furnaces in this game. I, I haven't unlocked a furnace yet. Uranium ore. And none of these things have weight. None of the notes have weight. So we're good. That's reduced my weight down to 122, two, so that'll be good. And I quickly go to my. No, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to my apparel. I'm going to wear that left leg. I'm going to go to craft at the Tinker's Station. And I'm going to just get myself a bit more ammo. Especially 10 mil ammo. I think that's all I can get. I can get railway spikes of syringe ammo. I think I'll do with, I can do with the 10 mil. So that's cool. Except that. And I want to go to my armor workbench. And I want to modify and repair. And let's repair my silver lining. If I can. Yep. I'm going to repair my left arm, repair my right arm, I'm going to repair the right leg, I'm going to repair that. Okay, so all my armor's nice and done. So we're ready to go on a quest. So we've got plenty of quests up in the top right hand corner. But first is engine. Engine never changes, says Anmol on loot. Tee -hee. Hey, Kevin Bogust. He says, Ian, you can smelt your ore at the Tinker's workbench. Ooh, okay. Let's try that. Uh, L3? Oh. I, th I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I thought... Uh, I know it's not in my inventory anymore, but I figured... It just took it automatically from your stash, like most things. Let's try... Let's have a bit of aluminum ore on me and see what that does. Scrap items, maybe? Junk. Misc there at all. Did I pick it up? I don't think I picked it up. Oh, I did. What? Transfer. Aluminum ore. My miscellaneous. Okay. So, craft. It must be... No, that's bulk. That's aluminium scrap. Dunno. Dunno. Uh, not sure. So I was probably doing something wrong, but never mind. Right, let's uh, head out. Close the door. What gun have I got? Let's put a different gun on. Let's go for my perfect song. Uh, shotgun. Marksman Severe Shotgun. That's a frog. The frogs in this game are weird AF. A little froggy. They don't, as far as I know, they don't attack you. They do have uranium ore. I'm hungry again already, you see. Doesn't feel like that long ago since I ate. Oh, piss butts. No, cancel. Oh, the bloody... Right. Aid. I don't have any food. I've probably got some food in one of my stash boxes, actually, unless it's gone off. Let's have a quick look. I'm so unprepared for the, a journey. Right. Uh, transfer. So we need to go to aid, and we need to go here. Take the canned dog food. I take the snack cakes. 
Moldy food. Old possum. That's a beer. Salt spices. Spoiled food. This is all rotten. Uh, okay, so I don't have that much food with me that is eatable. Oh, I've got a, uh, a melee bobblehead um, and a melee unarmed. If you activate the bobbleheads, they give you like a percentage of stats for like an hour or something. You can be better at punching and stuff like that. I'll take the boiled water as well for a laugh. So we need to then go to here. We need to eat canned food. We need to eat, 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 eat. Bit of boiled water to wash it down with. And off we jolly well go. Is that better? I think my... I don't know. Right. So let's have a look at the... Uh, we've got Overseer's mission. Follow the Overseer's journey. Find the next journal in Welch. Study Dr. Hudson's research. Repair Prickett's Fort token. That's the one that's broken. Talk to the Hemlock Holes cook. That one's boring. Uh, I'm going to continue down where I was before, which was... I was down here doing an overseer's mission, and I was going to go to Dr. Hudson's research. Basically, I did something here, teleported back to my base, fast travel back to my base, uh, and then... 33 caps. I could walk down there, I guess, but I'm bored. I'm, I, I can't be asked. Oh, protect the cats of the wasteland. Join the Fallout 76 Caps Protection League today, says Fruit Bat. Who got the cats? Uh, loots. Nicely done, kitty loots. Nicely done. I love hunting for hunting rifles to repair uh, that special gun that I can't remember the name of, says Lassus. Mm, it's precise. <clears throat> The map looks huge anyway. The Parrot Kelly, the map is absolutely massive. And there are points when it actually looks quite good. There's a there's a bit with a crashed space station and I kind of crested a hill and saw that in the distance. I was like, whoa, that's pretty sweet. And it's nice that you can go most places and you're like, holy fuck, like this is an actual proper big old world to like check out. But the trouble is, you, as you'll probably see when we go here, a lot of the time you enter new areas and the textures just don't load. <laughs> uh, the the loading screens there, that was a loading screen that I took a picture of myself. That's the that was the Mothman, who's one of the biggest like monsters in the game, like a feature monster to fight. Except for its AI is completely broken, so it didn't attack me. It just stood there. So I stood around next to it, took some photos, and then shot it to death without it actually doing anything. Uh, I hate durability features, honestly. The game, uh, only game with that feature that doesn't frustrate the hell out of me is Dark Souls. Yes, everything is, um, everything is durable in this game. Except for my Jimmy Jams, I hope. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm broadcasting my voice out into the wilderness. Let me mute my voice. There we go. Hopefully, <clears throat> I'm not broadcasting my voice now. Good. Right. Uh, so the mission I'm going to do is study Dr. Hudson's research. And we're going this way. So I don't know whether or not you read my article in... Um, I mean, that's a pretty site, right? That's quite a cool looking building. Weird architecture and things. And we haven't had too much problem with textures loaded. I mean, they look a bit shit, don't they? Those pipes and things over there. If I was to run straight through the centre of town, it would struggle to keep up with me. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, my article that I wrote for Eurogamer today was just saying that I, I basically, I prefer playing this game in solo player because I do actually get to spend time reading notes and absorbing the lore. Because if there's one thing that is good with this game, it's the lore um and the world building hidden underneath all the mess all the messy textures and the scruffy combat Burn some atoms there oh Jesus Christ whoa well I didn't see that happening so soon <laughs> Select my respawn location. So I'm gonna I'm gonna respawn right next to where I died. 
What does it mean if you respawn? Doesn't really mean that much, to be honest. You can go back to where you died to pick up your uh, drops loot. But apart from that, it doesn't really affect the game too much. Got my gun back out. I died somewhere over here. Well, that did escalate quickly. You're right, Parrot Kelly. Uh, where's my... So somewhere around here is my... Where I died. And there'll be a little paper bag with all my bits and bobs in it. Except for this time... Maybe I had nothing that could... Normally, it, it uh, any junk you have gets dropped. And, it get, uh, and then a little paper bag appears where you died. And you can schnaffle your, your loot back up. But I, I, did, I did drop all my loot already. So maybe there was no loot to drop. But there's definitely no, no bag there. Let's just have a look on the map quickly. It doesn't say... I don't think there's a quest for regaining my drop loot. So I think maybe I just... Uh, I just cocked that up. Let's have a quick look at the atomic shop, by the way. I've got 70 atoms. I'd need 1,200... Oh, fuck. I'd need 1,200 if I wanted to... Uh, there we go. Get the rocket suit. Or the little gnome is 400... Sparklers. So these are all the things. I wonder how much atoms are. Let's find out. Not even looked how much real world atoms are. You can't buy them. You couldn't buy them in the beta. Let's find out how much they cost. 500 is 4 quid. No. My pyjamas were 600 atoms, and it took me about six hours to earn 600 uh, atoms, and that was at the beginning of the game when atoms are thrown at you loads. There's quite the grind for costumes and shit like that. So it's safe to say I'm going to be sticking around in my pyjamas for a bit. <clears throat> okay, let's go inside and see what's going on. Ugh. Orangu frogs, oh frogutans, frogorillas, says Reckless Rex, trying to get a name of the uh, the frogs in the game. So, oh. so yeah, as I said at the start of this stream, I was really hyped for this game, and oh no, I should have should have made some bloody oh because it's online, you can't can you change your weapons. You can't pause the game to change your weapons, so you have to get shot at while you change your weapons. Uh, what was I saying? At the start of the game, I was like really excited. I was really excited for this game, but it really does try its hardest to um, make me dislike it. So somewhere in here is an objective. I can't see any objective markers yet, except for that one that's pointing outside. That will be for the other objectives, I guess. Inside the buildings, um, everything's quite nice. Like, well, I mean, it's pretty fucking ugly, but um, I do like, I do still like exploring the rundown buildings, looking for, like, bits and pieces, and I'm always going into the rooms, picking up the junk so that I can break it down break it down when I get back to my base so I can like build maybe an extension on my house uh, maybe some new things a lot of the things that I can build I need um, to get plans for and the plans are earned in a few different ways you can find them as quest rewards in crates 
you get a lot of plans for building material, uh, building thing like furnitures and um, things from doing overseer quests. So hopefully I'll get some more plans soon. I did actually get a plan recently, which was a water purifier, and um, I haven't built that yet. But I did get that plan, um, and so. I'm hoping to find some more plans so I can just upgrade my house. Because I've really, I'm not bothered with the quests, really. I just like the exploring and the schnaffling. None, none of the quest lines have really excited me in any way. And with the exception of the ones I've done on my own, the few I've done on my own and taken time to read through like a, there's a quest where you have to track down a missing boy basically you have to follow his tracker and he's been kidnapped by someone and you have to find out what's been going on there i really enjoyed that one because i took the time to read things but when i've played with other people um it's really hard to like read stuff while you're chatting to your friends and i don't know i missed out on so much story that it felt like i was just pressing buttons to to kind of like pr progress the story rather than actually involving myself with any kind of law at all. This is how I played Fallout 4 though. Basically, well, I streamed how I played Fallout 4. It's going into a lot of buildings, doing the missions, and then schnaffling for loot and weapons as I go. And I, I do quite methodically go through most rooms. Study Dr. Hudson's research. I don't know where Dr. Hudson's research is. There's, the markers are all leading me back outside again. Am I in the right building, I, I wonder? Oh, yeah, here we go. No, no, that's that's leading back outside, is it? Appalachia? Yes, yeah, so that's leading back outside. All these enemies will will stay dead while I'm here but they do respawn after a certain amount of time hey dickhead I'm not sure how quickly they respawn I've not kind of hung around in a building uh, for long enough for enemies to respawn but I did t take a lot of time in a structure a while ago which um, was really quiet and then I started hearing groans from enemies so I think they may have started slowly respawning while I was in there just like the lower levels what's that the bobby pin box and a safe I can unlock oh let's see what's in this safe so I've given myself a, a, a lock picking perk you start off with zero skill lock picking and you you have to earn it through perk cards that's an easy one that's giving me some ammo some silver that's pretty good money okay I just want to check my map and make sure I'm actually one thing that is bothers me as well with this game is I don't think there's a way to see local maps like you used to be able to check your map at least your local map on your pip boy and, that, and unless I'm completely wrong and I just was a dickhead and missed it I'm going to double check I, don't, I really don't think there's a way there's no section in here for like map here what about stats no, so there's no local area maps. So navigating through quest lines can get pretty uh, confusing too. Just because you're never really sure where the fuckers are. Like, am I in the right building for this quest? Study Dr. Hudson's research. Is it? No, it's not that high up, this building. 
If I go outside, it'll take 10 minutes to load the outside, so I don't really want to do that yet. So let's continue searching this building just to see if I can't find out where I'm going wrong. I need a way up. Ah. Well, is this a dead end? I've been here before. I've been here before and it's a dead end. Okay. Where's the bloody stairs? What else have we got here? Anything to schnaffle? New Coca-Cola bottle? Uh, cotton candy bites. Don't mind if I do. A little bit of food, even though it's not the healthiest. Where was that from? Was there someone in here that shot me then? Or did that was that just a bullet that came through the wall? I think that was just a bullet that came through the wall. What have we got here? We've got some stairs going up. We've got a canteen area. The ghouls and stuff are still like pretty spooky. I was it was a Oh. I'm missing loot's messages that are perhaps linking into other loots. Maybe it's a hollow takes as Angel Boot. Maybe. Study Dr. Hudson's research. Let's have a look. That would be in Hollow? Dr. Hudson's research. Wouldn't I be sick? Wouldn't I? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't he look like it? Let's head upstairs. Maybe it's... Maybe the quest marker will... Uh-oh. Good job that guy wasn't doing any thinking. My disease cure. And put a new weapon on. Running out of ammo for a lot of my guns, actually. How's about this one? Where's he gone? Duh! <laughs> That motherfucker just moonwalked out of my crosshairs. Wee! Wee! I see ya. I see ya. Glide it. Oh! There we go. Finally remembered how to walk, didn't ya? Shotgun shells there. Okay. That, that's just appeared. Is that above a door or is that... Owies! What the fuck? Ow! Oh. This game also has a problem with invisible enemies and I thought for a second I was getting hit by an invisible enemy. So yeah, we've got... Something floating around here. Is that just Appalachia again? Fuck so. Got excited then. I thought I I thought I knew where I was going. Alright, maybe I'm just maybe I just went in the wrong building. I don't think I went in the wrong building. Wait, is it that could it be could it be down below? I haven't been looking below. Should we try it? Fuck it. Whoop. Radroach. Diseased Radroach. But he's got some good stuff. No, just Radroach me. Ah, okay, yeah, the, okay. I think it was under underneath me the whole time. Gas canister. Don't mind if I do. So we've got... So, you know, he's still got the... Uh, the... The... The exploration stuff that I loved about Fallout 4 is still there. Slightly frustrating at times, but... You know, you actually do feel like you're... Uh, you're exploring. Terminal. Let's open this terminal. 
Is there a way to filter which quests you have active? It might be a case of too many markers. I don't think there is. I've not tried. To be fair, likeness none. It's not that one. Noticed. Likeness is two. Okay, I've got one last chance. It's two likenesses I've noticed. So it's not carrier. Not welfare. Could be... No. It's not section. No, it's not section. Maximum. Not maximum. Kedrick? Kedrick? No. No. Dragons? No. Carried. Ed. Could be carried. It's not enclave, not stop. Soldier. Sol. Oh, well, it could be soldier as well. Soldier. I'm gonna say. Soldier. Yeah! Okay, security door control. Open door. There we go. Does the brackets trick still work with the hacking, Ian? Uh. I'm going to say it does, but I've not tried it because I totally forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Lol. I bet it does. What have we got in here? What was so important? Oh, that's just locked me back in again. Okay, there's nothing in there. It's a paintbrush. What was so important that it was... Of it. Oh. That was a bit underwhelming. So how do I get down there? That's a question. Must be round this way. Everyone has shit passwords in this game, says Mr. Tom. They do, they do. Says if he was sysadmin, he'd force everyone to reset their passwords and enforce stricter rules. Whoopsh! Mr. Tom, cracking the password whip there. Uh, if you like live streams, by the way, I'm going to be in uh, Brighton tomorrow, Eurogamer HQ. Me, Johnny, and Aoife, all three of us, we're going to be on the sofa and we're going to be streaming Hitman 2. Oh, God. You might have noticed I'm not using VATS at all. It's because real-time VATS is, uh... Well, it's, it's shit. It doesn't really help much at all. It actually makes things a bit harder, I found. A Salisbury steak. I'll have that. Weirdly, the Salisbury steak would have sat there for 200 years. And it'll only start rotting now it's in my pocket. So here we go. AVR Medical Laboratory Terminal. What's what? What do we do? Inoculation project overview. Produce a vaccine against the mutagenic effect known as scorch plague. So they were trying to prevent scorch plague here. So that's opened up new missions. Collect a T-type fuse. Collect a blood sample from a mole rat, a feral ghoul, and a wolf. Okay. There's a journal there that maybe I could read if I could be bothered, but I'm not at the moment. So I need blood sample. I need to lo load the blood samples into the tube there. Huh. Developers? Developers. Test tube. Battered clipboard. There. Uh, Telly, a little bed to rest in if I wanted. There's a cutting board under there. What else have we got? Anything else interesting? Doesn't look like it. Bits and pieces, some junks to schnaffle and break down. But 
tactical hair trigger pipe rifle. Yeah. All in all, pretty underwhelming. Uh, and now I've been given a quest which is basically kind of like a hunting quest. Mole rat and feral ghoul shouldn't be hard to find, but I don't think I've ever ever seen a wolf in this game. Never mind. Right, back out to Appalachia. Footlocker? Did I miss the footlocker? I, d I missed a footlocker. I'll go back and... I'll go back and get them. Is Ian using a weight limit mod, says Lassus. Nope, I'm playing on PS4. There ain't no mods on the PlayStation 4. Uh, I've just... I've, I've leveled up my strength quite a bit and put perks in for loot gathering. You guys are enjoying the game? I'm not sure yet, says Fabio Jansen. I... I think it's a... I think it's a broken mess of a game that shouldn't have been released in the state it's in. Uh, and a lot of it is very frustrating and shit, but there are... Well, there is something in there that I quite enjoy, whether that's because it reminds me of my adventures in Fallout 4 and it's just a little bit more of that, or, you know, whether it's just I find the act of exploring and scavenging stuff, like, meditative and... You know, relaxing. I don't know whether it's maybe a little bit of it is because I, you know, I'm enjoying scavenging stuff for my building. Uh, who knows? But I wouldn't, couldn't say I was enjoying it specifically uh, in the way that you know I enjoy other games like PUBG and H1Z1 and stuff like that. It's not the sort of game that I'd tell my friends to go out and shit, son. You gotta get that game so we can play it together, yo. Fruit Bat's enjoying it, so that's good. You know, there are people that are enjoying it. Don't you like playing with other players on this, Ian, says Tom Smith? Nah. It ruins it playing with other players. It's, uh, it, I don't, I, it really. I just think it's a bit shit playing with other players. Uh, last death. So, oh, I say I can go and collect blood samples. We've got areas to go and search for blood samples. So let's go mole rat first, I guess, and then head over to the. What's that? That's fine. Next journal in Welch. Where's the other? What's that? That's a an, a public event. That's the mission I can't do. Look out! Look, that map is absolutely massive. I mean, fair play to them for creating such an impressive map. I really, I, I'm excited to explore more. I think it just looks so ugly. I'm enjoying the Spyro Reignited trilogy, says Rainawa. Oh, nice. And here we go, we've got to bloody eat stuff and drink stuff again. Well, maybe just, mainly just drink. Drink a new cola and a bit of purified water, there we go. I need to work on my... I need to spend a bit of time gathering... Uh, hunting food and getting some dirty water to boil and to pure, pure water and things. You're entering an event area. I don't want to. I don't want to join your shit event. This is a level two nuclear alert. Oh. Repeat. This is a level two nuclear alert. Side and energy Inside plants fell. Energy plant WV-06 has suffered a critical failure. I mean, I could Hazmat do. Hazmat teams are en route. Please remain indoors and await further instructions. Maybe I could try a public event. Shall I? How's that? There's a mole rat. So let's get a sample of him. Triangle. Hey! Hey! Right, maybe now is the time to use vats just because aiming in this game is such a shower of shit. Ah, oh, there's, uh, there's an invisible mole rat. Frozen. In time, somewhere around there, somewhere. 
video games. Press F to try Ian's public events, escape Lily. Oh my god. Fuck you, rabid mole rat. Right, is it possible to get back up here? No. Let's go this way. How do we get back up again? Make basic repairs to the cooling system. That's been slightly done. I wonder if someone else is doing that event. Oh, I've got... I've... Fuck off. Okay, let's go... Fuck it. Let's go try this public event that no one's probably doing. Oh, we've got 319 people watching right now. Welcome, everyone, to Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton. I am playing the full release of Fallout 76 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And um, I have mixed views, ranging from the I am slightly enjoying bits of it to the overwhelmingly negative this game probably shouldn't have been released in the state it's in. Or at least if it was not charge 60 quid for it and hard on microtransactions as well. I mean if I was Bethesda right now if I was Todd Howard right now I would be uh, I would be getting my apologise on and I would be giving people who pre-ordered this game, or bought this game, a bunch of atoms at least for free, just to say apologies for the uh, the state this game was launched in. Have 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 a little bit of a token of our gratitude for like, you know, sticking with us and putting up with it, and you know, trusting trusting us with your money. Um, let's just have a look. Where is this public event? I need to look at my map, don't I? Ah, they're all over here. Clear enemies, clear enemies, make basic repairs. Okay, so I'm going this way. This event is a bit hard if you don't know your way around the power station, says your old friend, deadly neurotoxin. Well, I definitely don't. This is my first time here. Oh, sledgehammer! If it gets too hard, I will, um... Oh, look at this guy! Not sure you've learned how walls work, mate. Multi-purpose axe. What other purposes are there for axes? Snub nose 44, can't be able to take it. Hammer though, and a bobby pin box. Here we go, this is more like it. This is the kind of fallout I like. Schnaffles! I think I've killed everyone in this area. Oh, there's another one, look. Yeah, uh, bad aim. Popped his head clean off his bloody neck. If you're enjoying this gameplay and you have not liked or subscribed yet and you fancy seeing more of my stupid face playing video games like an idiot, then uh, feel free to uh, do one or the other of those things um, and perhaps, you know, tickle the bell end. Tickle the end of that bell on screen to get notifications for all my videos. Right. Mapsy. So we've got make basic repairs. That is, what's that one there? Claim the workshop. Is that what I need to do, is it? 
Oh yeah. Claim. Spend 30 caps to claim this workshop, yes. I could build some turrets here and stuff to protect that workshop. Oh, I have to do I have to stand in it? Why is it? Is this part of the mission? And complete the claim a workshop. I'm not sure. Quest completed claim a workshop at Poseidon Energy Plant. I don't know. Doesn't seem to have changed anything. I got oh I got a reward though. A plan for a stone fountain, so oh shit, that's I was supposed to be capturing this. Never mind. I haven't done any building or anything yet. Uh bu -bu 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 -bu. <clears throat> So if I do that, record. so that will be in my notes. So plan water pump, that's what I got recently. I've already unlocked that one. Crafting item unlock defensive walls. Stone fountain, there we go. Challenge completed. Learn new recipes. Crafting item unlocked. Perimeter wall frame stairs. So I've, I've unlocked a few different crafting things there. Uh, look like without reading um, plans as well I unlocked some stuff. So that's good. Right. Look at the map again. Power up the fusion core processor at the Poseidon Yard energy plant. Make basic repairs. I think that's going to be above me, right? Yeah, that's above me. Can I get up this way? I think I can. In your face, dickhead. No heads for you. Owie. What do I need to go inside the plant here now? An attack is imminent. Prepare your defences. Oh, I've reached level 15. I've unlocked some perk cards as well. Okay, let's go inside here. So this is kind of cool, like, you know, same old Fallout thing of wanting to do one thing but getting distracted by another. There's, seems to be plenty to do. I don't know why I picked that up. It's easier to aim. Uh, it's easier to hit fire with this gun, I think. So where's the... Where's the objective now? Tinker. Let's scrap my items. Scrap all that shit. Uh, what have we got? A safe. Can I open that? I can open this. What have we got in here? Pick locks. So I'm earning a few atoms as I go. Probably be earning more atoms. You know, it's probably an easy one. Look at all those bloody quests on the right hand side. Okay, what am I doing? Repair Poseidon Energy Plant. So, the Defend Poseidon Energy Plant is a completely different quest, perhaps. Control room. Shit. You got angry turrets in that. Why 
da und der Kerl. Oh, hello. Oh, he's, a, he's an angry, angry little one as well. Shit. Oh, no. Running out of ammo. 164 on that one. Where are these turrets? There's one up. Hello? Who was that? Yikes! Battered. Schnaffle here. Cigar box, huh? But this is a very confusing mission. What's this now? Defeat the scorched wave. Oh, that's scorched waves outside, okay. So I just need to search for somehow to make repairs. Tektron control. Error. Probably because probably I killed him. You can kind of cherry. Basically, need to find a place to make repairs. Little stupid face. Ah, oh, you fucker. How do we get down there? Toiletin? <laughs> See you later, Monsieur No Face. Oh, hello. What's that down there? Probably an exit, isn't it? You are not us. You are not us. Getting a bit, getting a bit Radbury around here. Jason Radbury. Oh, you big quim. This gun's pretty beasty, though. Ow, 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 my butt. Okay, aid. Right away. Oh, 
locker room. Expansion plant. I think they're going back outside again. Yummy. Give me that 10 millimeter round, dickhead. He's forgot, he completely forgot that there's someone behind him shooting at him. Remember, just too late. Ugh, I'm regretting. <laughs> I'm regretting trying this mission. Already. You weren't right, you weren't wrong about it being confusing. If you'd never been here before. Is this back out to Appalachia? Nope. Oh my word. Oh, we're right, right up in a cooling tower now. Silver fork. Fork you! Red River Ale? Yum yum. What have we got here? Explosives. Great. Let's pick that and see what. Ow, bums. Nice. Eh. Ah. Hoping that this would be the place I needed to be to do the repairs, but I think this is a way out over here. I might take it. Screw off, sausage, the dick. Oh, okay, no. It's okay. Oh no. Ah, uh -huh, I'm panicking. Oh, dickhead. Oh, what's that? US government supply requisition. Oh, nice. I can call in some supplies if I really want. Toolbox. No, nothing no. Oh, gunpowder. 308 rounds. Oh, I'm finding quite a bit of ammo. A little bit of food. Alright, we're heading back out again. <laughs> Fuck that public event. Ow! 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 Sorry, I was just uh, retweeting something then and I got absolutely scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutted. Alright. No. 
Fuck yourselves. Keep your shitty power station. Oh no! Oh no! That was a nice little de nice little detour. Defeat the Scorch. So yeah, there's a bunch of things. So you have to really explore that, and I can't be bothered. Uh, so let's head over here. Let's fast travel it. Let's fast travel it. See what's going on, yeah. Hello, Simo, if you're watching. It's still got separate limb damage, hasn't it? Says Gavin UK. Might have. It might have. I don't know. Can't tell the difference, to be honest. Is that a... Sounds like there's a big thing. Is that a dead body? Yeah. What's doing the growlings? Oh! It's a Grafton monster. Flinging his, flinging his shit at me, dirty boy. Hope he doesn't know how to get up here. I'm just gonna... Ow! Okay, yeah, it, it can fling its acidic shit up here. Very inky. Alright. It's forgotten how to move, it's fine. We're fine. Oh, and now I'm hitting invisible bits of metal. Aye. I wonder what a chance of hitting him there. Vats will give me. 0%, oh no, 95%. So you only get, you don't get a 100% chance of hitting him with vats, even though you're pointing a gun right at him, so it's it's better to not use vats at all. Uh, Grafted Monster's not gonna not really giving me too much hassle. It's not really a hard graft to complete. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I thought I'd just reload. Stumbled him a bit there. Just looks like a big fucking testicle with arms. You is he chickening out? Absolutely not. Oh. Someone else better not get my kill. You little prick. going to hurt if I... Uh, I've, I've got myself stuck. There he is. Got ya. Not much XP, but he might have some good loot on him. Oh, for fuck's sake. How do I get down there? Breaking my stupid legs. Summersville Dam. I guess I'm gonna just. Oh god, that wasn't too bad. Give me your sexy, like, your big testicle looking freak. 
Oh, he's... No. No, I'm not going to get any loot because he vanished. <sighs> that was a waste of fucking bullets in five minutes, wasn't it? Oh my god. Run away! <laughs> and I'm thirsty again. Bastard. Am I going the right way? Oh, I'm nuts! Uh, I've gone the wrong way. Feral ghoul. Oh, that might be a feral ghoul. No, it's a scorched. Uh, collect a blood sample from feral ghoul is that way. Oh, we'll go this way. Let's go this way first. Am I heading in the right direction? Map's so confusing, yes. <clears throat> Ash Heap Region's environment is dangerous. Equip a gas mask. I have a gas mask. It's Vedant season. What the fuck does that mean? Enjoy the abundance. You enjoy Maya bum dance. Is this a mod, says blatantly John. I wish. I'm sorry, Ian, but that was hilarious, says Joanna Wanna. I'm so upset. So upset. I was I was robbed, Joanna Wanna. Eric Little, you're right, that was awful. Correcto mondo. You're a gas mask, says Kate Lily. Certainly am. Right, let's keep going. Up we goes. Up the hill. Diseased wolf. Where are you, prick? There you are. Oh, there's lots of them. Oh. Strong boys, huh? Ow. I've created contracted lock joint. He just did a little spinny roundy. Cut blood sample, there we go. Shooting this wolf in the butt quite a lot. Don't want wolf meat. Don't want wolf meat. Okay, so we've got the... Let's need the feral... Hold on. Real-time VATS is only really useful, as far as I can tell. It's only useful if you stand still, let enemies attack you from close range, and then fire. Nice. Right away. Okie dokie. Where now? Not that button. I always press the wrong button. So kind of straight ahead. You are suffering from lock joint. That's... I think I had some... Oh, I must have taken it already. I did have some disease cure, but... Shit's gone now. Aye! 84 metres away from, from a ghoul. I mean, it's kind of... It's, it's such a big... Such a big world. I do kind of, you know, I do want to explore it. Eh? What are you, Scorch Wanderer?
I just wish it didn't look so much like dog shit. Ow. Because it's really so ugly. Warm. Work in. Said that. Oh, I. No. What now? Collect a T type fuse. I pressed start about uh, 30 seconds ago. Oh, there we go. T type fuse. Look for blood sample. Load blood samples into the centrifuge. What the fuck is a T type fuse? Oh my god, it's all the way up there. Find an next general in Welch. This calls for some fast travelling. Ow, you piss ant. I'm sorry, but I'm more likely, in real life, I'm more likely to run away very fast when enemies are around. Not less likely. Ian, that there is a way to turn the active quest icon off. Oh, Ian, there is a way to turn the active quest icon off. Open up the Pip-Boy menu, the rest item, they've equipped, and simply uncheck the quests that appear in the sub-menu. Ah. Okay. I shall do that. Cheers, Dougie. Do -do -do. Do -do. It was piss ant, but piss sand works as well. Open up pit boy menu. Simply uncheck the quests. Oh, you're such a. I hate the inventory. Right, data. Ah, side. Over to scouting up Palapcha, looking for ways. Personal matters. Bureau of Tourism, let's get rid of that one. Daily. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Okay, so personal matters, overseas journey. And answer of prevention. They're the ones I wanna they're the ones I wanna follow. Cheers, Dougie. So what's that? Then? Oh, there's someone there. Dirge D98. He was the guy that found my house, I think. Okay. So we're going this way. I think. I think. Yeah. Following this up the road for a bit. Some crashed cars. Bit of a blocked road. Oh, have I missed a loot? I think the loot messages aren't showing for Ian. Why is he ignoring them, says Jacob. I just was concentrating on the game, yeah. 20 caps says Ian ignores this loot, says Kate Lily. Hello, Ian, you are the papa of all schnappleness and sucking of the life juice, says Bolsack. Oh, my God. Up an atom, go get those XP points. My password is infinity and beyond. Have you tried claiming a workshop and doing defence quests for those yet, says Fruit Bat? I kind of did, but I couldn't be asked. <laughs> My person is seven asterisks, says Reckless Rex. Oh, there's loads. Loads of loots came in. I missed them all. Apologies. I've been... Uh, my loots come up on a screen over there, and I'm watching the game over here, so I don't see them all the time. See you later, Hell's Musician! Greg's Mine Supply. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, more ghouls. Oh, scorched, anyway. Listen, you crystalline fuckface. Suck my chode.
He's an ugly one. Take. Nice little, uh, nice little house. Some schnaffles for Ian. Ah, oh, my good gun's broken. Use it too much. All right. Well, fuck off. I'll fix that later. Weapons. Shopping. Oi. Oh. Oi. Go open. Oh, oh dear. She's uh, seen better days. Frame rate just had a little bit of a a paddy there. I don't know if you noticed it, but it was a like proper jerky for a second. Safe. No, fuck off. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I hate the fact that the close button is the same as bring up your menu button. It happens all the time. I'm just like, close this menu, I want to keep going. And then I bring up my pit boy and it's, ow, oh, balls. Oi, dickhead. Ah. Anyone else? do 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 Vacuum tube. Wonder glue. So much schnaffles. What else have we got here? What's that? What the fuck is that? What? Adjustable wrench. <laughs> is that fuse meant to be down here somewhere? Alright. Oh, it's up here. What's this guy doing? He's really, he's upset because his box, his favourite box has fallen down. Oh, there we go. Didn't really put up much of a fight, that guy, did he? T-type fuse, fragmentation mine. Nice. Yellow canister. Don't mind if I do. Anything else to schnaff from? Oh, hello. Ooh, a frag grenade. So I'm resisting the urge to pick up all the crap now because I reckon my pockets are pretty full. So I could spend a bit of time checking out this location, but I'm not going to. I'm going to bring up my pit boy by accident again. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the medical center. Oh no, not his favorite box. Tee hee, says Joanna Wanna. <laughs> Tee hee. That guy's lamenting his role in the game, says Kate Lily. Parrot Kelly's called him a poser. The Scorch are making decidedly drag noises, says Hockey Rup. Hmm. Hmm. I miss the COD 3 blackout streams, Ian, but seems not many other people do. It's fine, though. I still watch every P32 stream, says Anmol. I mean, I, I'm i up for streaming more COD blackout, but no, none of, like, I prefer playing Battle Royale games with my mates, and none of the sausages bought it because they didn't want to pay 60 quid for a Battle Royale game, and They've all got PUBG already, and H1Z1's free. Maybe if it gets, like, discounted at some point, they'll pick it up. I, know, I can do some solo stuff. 
I haven't played it for a while, actually. I've... You're right. Ow! Obviously not. I won't bother asking next time, dickhead. Back in we go. Let's see how lost I get again now. This game seems to be getting slated in beta. Is it better now it's been in beta? Is it better now it's been released as Muzzy? No. It's exactly the same in full release as it was in the beta. I cannot cannot see anything. Anything has been improved. All the enemies have respawned now in this location. So I've got to go through fighting these. Crusty dickheads again. It's all right. I don't think there's too many of them. There was a footlocker in here I missed, someone said. Oi, come here. Where's the footlocker that I missed? Oh, that one. Stem, pa stem pack and a fancy airbrush. Not really worth the... Uh, not really worth the wait there, was it? Right, replace fuse. Excellent. Where's the... Uh, load samples into the centrifuge. Which one's the centrifuge? Oh. Oh, it's covered in, covered in goo. Load blood samples. Kick it off, I guess. Analyze blood samples. This blood samples being analyzed. PUBG for PS4 soon. Says uh, Marcy. Yeah, that would be cool, but I don't think anyone I know is going to rebuy it on the PlayStation 4, to be honest. Uh, back. Use symptomatic to administer the vaccine. What's symptomatic? Oh, this person's got... Use symptomatic to administer the vaccine. Fusion core processor. Is it in here? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Where though? Is that it? Oh, I guess I get. Oh, I've still got my gas mask on. Hopefully it still works. Oh, oh, my brain. Oh, my brain. Three times brain. Alright. Guess I'm, uh. Unlocked photo frame responders, little chest piece added. You must have completed my work and inoculated yourself. The next step is to find out if our elite anti-scorched unit, the fire breathers, are still alive. You can find them at the Charleston Fire Department. The fire breathers need to know the vaccine is ready. If they didn't make it, then you're going to need their weapons to stay alive. Alrighty. So explore the Charleston Fire Department. But I'm going to go to find the next journal in Welch. I've got 20 minutes basically on this stream. I'm going to spend that time heading south into into territory unknown. Ooh, cloaking Texas nightcap. I recently started to play another playthrough of Skyrim Special Edition, and although it's been years, it's essentially the remastered version. It's still buggy as fuck. Says Dragon Ball Zero. I really like um, Fall uh, Up Skyrim PSVR. I dip into it every so often, and I'm always like, "Wow, wow, this is incredible!" Having a VR game of that scope is just nuts. Love it. 
Thanks for all your thumbs, lovely people, says Nightcat. Indeed, a sentiment echoed by me. Thank you very much for your lovely thumbs. Uh, right. Inserting your thumbs up me. It's a pleasure. Hello, Arakanatus. Really have to go back to Skyrim VR, says Parrot Kelly. It's because I've played Skyrim so much, I've it's like... I don't get super... Hey, you fucking banana. Oh, uh, game's... Oh! Game forgot to display any frames for a second, but they're back! Alright, so... Let me just check. I think I have to be heading in approximately this direction. Yes, so... I've just got to basically follow this diamond shape here. If I go the crow fly, the way crow flies, means I'm going to have to climb up this big mountain. Is there a way? I think I might have to go up that way. Oh, my AP's low. And my health. Okay. Oh, I've got no stim packs, so now if I... If something giant jumps out and gets me, that's me screwed. I would not be surprised if there are... Uh, some high-level monsters roaming around on the way to this location. I've never been as far south as this game wants me to go now. So, oh, so sunny. Does anyone know how to eat corpses? I'm not getting a prompt. Says you're what in real life? Uh, I don't know. Come on, what we get? Oh, so there's the Charleston Fire Department over there, but I, I need to avoid that. Oh god. I kind of want to avoid the super mutants as well. Oh, crikey, that's an imposing mountain I've got to climb, full of lava and... Shit. Rusty pick bar. God. See, this is where... This is where the game gets me now, with all these cool little looking locations where I, that I want to go and have a look in. Hey, Fergal Riley. Long time no see indeed. Super Mutant Skirmisher. Hey. Hey! Howie. This place looks bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. What am I doing? I've got 15 minutes to get to the top of this fucking mountain. Stop scrounging for loot, Ian. What's that? It's just another way out. What's that? Ah! Oh. What a trap. Look, Flanagan's Terminal. This is Pompadour Wig. Clara Webber Diary. Our tavern with a secret meeting hall bit into your mind. It's this one there. See. Oh, the, the, the Radroach just opened a door! Thanks, Radroach. You just. Oh, 
The Rad Roach. <laughs> Rad Roach just gave me a, a an almost full set of power armor. Thanks, buddy. Oh no. Oh fuck. What the hell is this? Mole miner? You're new. Abandoned mine key. I'm not going down there. I can't get can't get distracted. I need to get to the overseer's next location. Is this the Rad Roach of Destiny? Thank you, Rad. Everyone's thanking the Rad Roach. He was quite kind, wasn't he? I probably shouldn't have killed him. I killed him for his kindness, and now I feel a little bit bad. <clears throat> More miners are a pitter or a pain in the ass. This is a uh, free bet. That roach was indeed pretty rad. It's a space hopper got to. It was indeed pretty rad. Hi to all 320 people watching me right now here on Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton. If you don't know me, uh, I do videos for Eurogamer's YouTube channel. Um, which uh, are normally put up on Eurogamer.net as well, that lovely gaming website. This is my personal YouTube channel where I stream whatever the f*** I want, whenever the f*** I want. And uh, at the moment, I'm streaming Fallout 76. Uh, and I'm running in a very broken piece of power armor as super mutants chase me. Oh, they're so angry. I'm trying my best to get to a certain location at the south end of the map because uh, I'm just curious. It's uh, the mission. Is that open a miner's locker in the abandoned mine site Kittery? <gasps> given me some kind of loot. Abandoned mine site Kittery. If I don't have to go underground, it might be alright. Claim token exchange. What's this? Standard Hall Ritual Jackpot Hall. Let's get the purified water. I'll be very happy if I just accidentally stumble across like a lovely little loot stash. Lead scrap. Shotgun shell. Caps 3. Explosives, great. Decorate. Plasma granata. Deployed armor. Bar. Open the miner's locker. So I'm in the right place. So you can see my radar is flashing, which means I'm in the approximate location. It's got to be one of these, hasn't it? Miner's locker. Here we go. Is this it? Salisbury, unlock with the miner's key. Salisbury spike. 50 caliber machine gun. Don't mind if I do. Miner suit scrap. Miner suit gun. Okay, cool. Alright, well that's that's that was a nice little thing. Boom. 
Let's have a quick look at the uh, the weapon I just got there. 50 caliber machine gun. Holy shit. That's a level 35 weapon and a half, isn't it? Gonna have fun rocking that when I reach level 35. If you're looking for wood, by the way, great hint. Look out for logs. And gather wood from logs lying around. You need a lot of wood when you're building your houses. It was on my radar. You're correct. My radar, indeed. Uh, stop. And start. And... Oh, shit. Where'd that wall come from? So, we're, how close are we? God damn, this map's huge! Fireflies. I don't think the fireflies are going to cause me any hassle. As long as I can get up some of these slopes, though. That seemed to be an easy, kind of, straight line for this mission, does it? Do a bit of parkour across this very, very scorched earth. Come on! Oh, you what? You thought I was caught in a gap in the floor then? Okay, we can get up this bit. Plane workshop at Mount Blair. No. The workshop is yours for the taking. Can't be bothered. Okay, we're on the right track again, I believe. No, that's not map. Clear enemies from Mount Blair. Find the next journal in Welch. Well, at least we're getting a good look at the some of the different types of scenery in this game. I mean, that's pretty impressive. The fact that they've like made all these huge locations is cool. I'm being chased by a mole miner. Or not. So keep going. Right, charge into Fergaroy says, West Virginia. Do you like it? Says XP Gamer. It's all right, but I would not recommend people buy it in the state it's in, unless you're a huge Fallout fan. And even then, if you're a huge Fallout fan, you. Maybe if you're a Fallout fan, you're going to be even more disappointed, to be honest. I just... I. It's just such an expensive game for... Fair play they've made this gigantic new map and stuff, but... It's so rough. It's so rough. Well, oh. tough guy, eh? Are they? They're like. Did they used to be human or? They look a bit like grunts from Halo with that face mask on. Maybe they used to be humans and they've just been mutated a bit. Uh, where am I heading? This way. There's an interesting structure over there. Look, what's that way? That's uh, this giant statue there, I guess. But we're not going there. We're going this way. 
we're trying to find uh, the next journal in Welch. Gotta find the next journal in Welch. And once I've done that, I've got to fast travel back to my base. Drop all my stuff off. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm a hungry boy. Have I got any food? Pork and beans, purified water. And Salisbury steak. Coffee place. It's quite cool. Candy candy fan Mr. Fuzzy. Yes. Don't know what the fuck that is, but yes, I'm taking it. I've got distracted again, haven't I? So easy to get distracted by exploring. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> Must be getting close now. I can hear a bleeping noise. That means there's a uh, a ghoul close with a nuclear code on him. It's this one here. It's got silo alpha code. So that's you need eight of those to um, to unlock a nuke, but it's not as easy as that. Uh, I do need to level up. I think I've got... Oh, two level ups. I've got an unearned, unopened perk pack. Yes, please. What have I got? Born Survivor. Action Boy. Action... Perceptibobble. What do you call the boomerang? It doesn't come back. A stick. Nice. You can hear directional audio when you're in range of a bobblehead. Uh, what do I want to level up? Strength or endurance, I think. Weight of junk items is reduced by 25%. Let's move that up to level 2. And I've got another rank to level up as well, so I'm going to do endurance. Eating human, ghouls, super mutant, scorched on mole minor corpses restores hunger and health. So I think maybe you have to have the cannibal perk before you can eat corpses, whoever it was asked that. Uh, all drinks quenched thirst with 25%. Cams generate 50% less thirst. Iron stomach. Lead belly. Natural resistant. Rejuvenated. Being increased man. Fusa. Let's go for. Let's go for that one because I get pissed off by drinking. I think I've already. Oh no, there we go. Love that to two. Ranked up a perk card. Doing. Uh, Charisma one. Because I don't. Charisma's more for team play stuff, you see, and I don't really do team play stuff. I need one more. I've got space for one more intelligence card. Everything else is full, but I don't have any. I don't have any more intelligence cards. So never mind. Right now, where am I? Is this where I need to be? Is it in here? Here it is. This is the Vault Tech stash. This is well, this is where I needed to be. Pistol, aluminium minimum scrap, silent worker hat, ballistic fiber scrap, barbed walking cane, modern baseball bat. Baseball grenade, beer bottle, black titanium ore, blood pack, bobblehead melee, bobblehead unarmed. Oh wait, shit, this is my stash. Oh, piss nuts. Oh, bum holes. Alright. Ah, <sighs> store all junk. What else can I store in here? Ah. Uh. Baseball bat, baseball grenade, bowie knife. Frag grenade, frag mine. So these stash boxes are kind of like um, magic, like Resident Evil's things. If you see um, stash boxes, 
you get whatever you put in one somewhere, wherever in the world, and it always confuses me. Right, Molotov cocktail can go in there. Pipe wrench can go in there. Pitchfork can go in there. Plasma grenades. Uh, sledgehammer. Tactical true laser. I'll keep that. Uh, silent worker hat, white. Cloak and leather. Ch oh. Left leg. I keep getting a lot of left leg stuff. Patrolman sunglasses. I might have to wear those. Pocketed metal left arm. Pompadour wig. Ooh. So much to choose from. Put that in there. Let's put that in there. Aid. Trauma sunglasses, pompadour wig. Wait, what? Can I equip this one in power armor? Why is it still so bowler hat is selected when it's not? That's dumb. Oh, fuck it. Right, where's this thing I'm looking for then? Trading post. Maybe I'm not there yet. Maybe I am not there yet. Find the next journal in Welch. I'm not there yet. It's this way. Whoop. Whoop. So that was a stash. That was basically, you get a few of those kind of stash places dotted around the map. And you can buy, um, Crafting stuff from the robots there and things. Oh, someone's kicking off. Scrap items. I think I've stored all my junk now. Yeah, I have done. Okay, it's in there that I need to be. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm not sure there's a quick way to uh, to scroll through weapons. I'm trying to hide here. Let's get a different one up. Weapons. Uh... Oh, load again. Well, that works quite well. I'm out of ammo. Oh, fuck. I'm out of ammo on this gun. Oh, this is oh, this is a pain in the ass. It's really annoying. <laughs> uh, what's got ammo? That's got ammo. I'm getting shot from behind as well. I'm getting shot from all directions. Nightcap wasn't wrong about these being a pain in the ass. Uh, oh, that's ammo for this gun now. Fuck. Well, lots of these mini four mini decks. Yoink! Oh, right away. Come back here, you weird moly nutsack. Shotgun shell. I'm gonna have a 
field day fixing this armour. Can I get back, huh? They're just these ones are just standing still. He says. It's just you left, dickhead. if I could punch him. Doesn't do that much damage, to be honest. Got you. Fucking wee prick. Right, different gun again. Somerset Special. No, it's got no ammo. Syringe's got 22. Man, I really need to craft some more ammo, don't I? What's that? Short pump action shotgun, 62. Here we go, got it anyway. Take overseers, uh, data hollow, overseers, journal entry 5. Overseers personal journal. Vault 76 was built to take the best and the brightest. But that wasn't what all the vaults were. The Societal Preservation Program. I wasn't supposed to know about it. But when I found out, Evan wanted me to tell the press. But I didn't. <laughs> yes, experimenting on vault residents was ethically wrong. But the goal of finding the most suitable people to repopulate, to understand humanity pushed to the extremes, what if that was the only way for us to survive? We can't save everyone. That's what they always told us. And I thought, I still think, they were right. vault found out that I knew. I thought I was going to be fired or arrested, but instead they confided in me. Vault 76 was going to be a control vault. No experiment. I was so relieved. They told me I was going to be assigned to Vault 101 in Washington, D.C. I had to leave West Virginia. My people, behind. I couldn't let them do that. No matter what it took. I'm so sorry, Evan. I wish I could say I would have made another choice. That I would have picked dying in this house together when the bombs fell. I never stopped thinking about you. And I'm not giving up until I find out what happened. If you're not here, then there's only one other place you'd want to be. The mines. The mines? Fuck going in the mines. Find the next journal in Mount Blair. Well, I went through Mount Blair to get here. Um, but, uh... That's for another day. Find Duchess's stash, huh? What are these missions here then? Explore D uh, Charleston. Find next journal in Blair. Part the fusion core. Uh, let's fast travel back to my camp. And finish up. Dropping all stuff off. I am playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Moppity mop mop. So I'm just going to pop him back to my, uh, pop him back now to uh, sort out my loot, 
fix some stuff and then uh, have a little finish a little finish of the game Shit. Oh, I hate these. I hate these dickheads. Bastards. What the? Hey. Leave me alone. Hello, beautiful house. Let's go inside. Let's close the door. <clears throat> Transfer. Store all the junk. Well, I still want to jump in. Stop the store in here. Uh, oh, I know. Oops. Build. Can I build a... Why can't I build this? Need to find the plans to build the power armor station. Oh. Right, well, let's get out of my power armor. How do you do that? Triangle? That's the one. Press triangle to collect your power armor chassis. It will then be added to inventory under item apparel. Power armor you own will also be recalled to your inventory if you leave an area disconnected. Okay. Right. Armor workbench. Modify or repair. Ooh, that was weird. I thought maybe I could fix my power suit stuff there, but I can't. I think another chest piece, 1132. Uh, uh, Patrolman's sunglasses. Tinker's work pens now we want to go to modify and repair. Oh no, I don't want to mod. Ah, repair. stuff to repair with them, I? Well, that sucks. How about ammo? Like the materials. Oh, I'm out of lead, oh god. I need to find a lot of lead. So that's a job for another day. Uh, what else do I need to do? Oh yes, that was what I was going to do. So we'll go to... Uh, notes, is it? Plan combat rifle. Let's read these. Recipe, recipe diluted right away. see if I can build a uh, what would it be under food and water that was it I got plans for 
water uh, purifiers. Cannot place it. I can get this big water purifier small. Okay, so I'm gonna. Ah, fuck. Annoying that you can't open doors while you're in the building menu. So I have to open that door, then I have to run back in here, then I have to go build, and then I have to run back out before the door closes automatically. And then I go. It must be placed in the water. Oh. It must be placed in the dirt. Okay. A little water purifier by the side of the house there. Oh, did I not? What's that? Resources. Appliances. A little barbecue. Nothing else seems to be unlocked there. Beds. Lovely chairs. Stash boxes. Can make more interesting stash things. Got all these different things that you have to unlock the. Uh, the things bought for before you can build them. Well, didn't I unlock a fountain of sorts? I thought I did. Miscellaneous structures, at none of them. Uh, Can't see anything for a fountain now, though. Oh, well. There's as much as I can build at the moment. But if you're um, if you're interested in building, if you're interested in building in Fallout 4, you'll notice that the uh, let's get something small up. You'll notice that the build area in Fallout 76 is a lot smaller. Like, way smaller. Also, I've used up half of my budget with this house. So I could basically build this house again. And then, uh, that'll be it done. Also, I wouldn't be able to place that down on a, um... On a, I'd, I'd need to place it on a flat surface again. I won't be able to build that on a slope or anything like that. Uh, but anyway, that's me done, I think. Oh, I'm going to actually repair all structures and build. And I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to hold X for blueprint. And I'm going to select the structure that should select everything. Guess it. Grow selection, grow selection. Should select everything. Hopefully, these things are selected as well. And then you go to create blueprint and house and overwrite. There we go. So, that's me done for uh, this stream of Fallout 76. Did you enjoy it? Let me know if you enjoyed this and you want to see me stream more Fallout 76 or you, you're a bit like me. Because I don't, I didn't mind it. There was bits, definite frustrations in there. But I've had, I've, I've had worse times streaming games, to be honest. So let me know if you want to see more Fallout 76. Maybe I could do a bit more next week or something. Like I said earlier, not streaming... Um, on platform 32 tomorrow because I'm going to be at Eurogamer uh, head office streaming Hitman 2 from 3.30 onwards with Johnny and Aoife so let's tuck my guy up to bed in his little dressy gown I still feel very little for the game says Rainer I enjoyed you streaming Ian says Reckless Rex uh, I come to see you, Ginger Cows Man, says Kate Lilly. Ah, oh, fair enough. I just enjoy you, Ian, says Parrot Kelly. Ah, oh, fair enough. Check your loot, says Reckless Rex. Oh, no. Whoops. 
Last loots for the day, I think. Nice stream, Ian, says Anne Mole. Yay! Cheers, Ian, says Simo. Simo! Maxim Channel says, Thank you for showing me Fallout 4 lookalike game. Save me money. Yeah. I, I've really, like, as I said earlier, it's too broken for a game that costs as much money as it does and has microtransactions. Maybe wait until it's discounted or wait until they've actually fixed it. But I couldn't, I wouldn't, I would not say to one of my mates, Shit son, you gotta buy this game. Because I don't think people should at that price. I think something's, something's wrong. And it's kind of like a lot of this game. But yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. Do subscribe and come back for more Platform 32 streams if you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for the thumbs ups, 105 thumbs ups, you lovely peeps. Um, and I think that's about it. Do have a lovely day. Thanks to mods for keeping people safe. And uh, do be kind to one another because being kind makes the world go round. And uh, hopefully, if everyone's kind, we won't have to live in an irradiated nuclear wasteland. Bye! <laughs>